Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to look at another renovation extension or remodel uh, model that I've received. I received an email with a couple of quick questions. It's by VO Building Co. and they're in the southern highlands of New South Wales and I think down to Canberra. Check out their uh, Instagram page and Facebook page. They've got some really nice work. This is a Renault extension uh, and we're going to have a quick look at it and see if I can help Adam out with a couple of things. Um, but yeah, I reckon if you're looking for a good builder down that way, he'd, he'd be a man because I've seen what he does and it's nice. Uh, the next video I'm going to do is actually from a building designer or slash architect in uh, Sydney as well. Um, so follow the channel if you want to see more about what people are producing. Uh, this is plus design build, but some will be plus architect and plus spec. All right, so let's explain this model and I'll, and I'll quickly read through the... Um, uh, the question that Adam gave me, but let's have a look at it from afar and you can see that he's imported a, a floor plan, looks like a DWG to me, uh, and he's got a site plan and it looks like he's had a contour survey done and he's utilized that to create a 3D uh, contour plan for the model. In my opinion, this is the best way to understand you know, sloping sites, you know, how you're going to go about extending it and so on. And we will quickly look at what's existing and what's new here. And I, I noticed a couple of things that might help Adam um, uh, in the future. So, right, so that's the model. The first thing is, what's the question? It would be great if we were able to do a takeoff on the entire model, then break it into tags and view as a group. Now, I've written these things down over here. And guys, just if you ever wanted to know or you want to know how to put text in, because sometimes if I'm actually drawing a plan that I need to remember things, I will use the large tool set and I will quickly select here. If I select nothing up here, I can write myself a note. Right? If I wanted to add text to a, a part of the model and I select part of the model, right, it will put in the text that's associated with that, that's the wall number and so on. So it's kind of helpful if you want to remember things. I'm going to go Control Z and undo those because I don't want them. Right, so I'm going to look at uh, overview of the model, which we've just spoken about. We're going to talk about tags, and we might do that first. So default tray, guys, if you haven't got it, um, you really should have this open because when I select anything, it tells me what it is. Therefore, it's roof framing, roof number 15 that was drawn in the model. However, I'm just going to go down to tags down here and tags and plus design build plus spec plus architect all actually organize things into tag folders which is basically a folder of tags right and if I want to make it in, in numerical order or alphabetical order uh, I can click on name there and therefore I have everything in there and if I wanted to see what was going to be what was existing or turn off what was existing on this house I would turn that off and you can see that turn the whole tag folder off of what was inside the model, right? And I'm going to explain this a little bit further down the track because these are obviously modifications that VO Building needed to do to the model uh, and something that needed to be equated with cost. I would go about it a slightly different way. Uh, so hopefully you all get something out of that. Um, but you can basically turn off anything, whether it's existing floor plans and so on, or if you wanted to break it down and we said inside existing walls, we wanted to turn beams off or ceilings or anything that was existing I can turn them off, right? Surfaces, wall skins, all of those type of things. These are inside of a tag folder. This is automatically created when you draw something. If you draw a wall or a slab, it'll break a slab down into reinforcement or rebar and concrete. Uh, that's how it all works. Right, so that explains tags a little bit and the model is well organized. The next thing I'd like to talk about is how Adam set up scenes and I think it is a really good way because everything else is turned off except for the model and that takes distractions out. Less distractions, more productivity. Right, so if you want to know how to update scenes or to do that, look guys, check out the forum. Uh, if you've got Plus Spec or Plus Design Build or any of them, you'll notice at the top right hand side here there's a forum. You can type in a question and ask anything you need to know or ask them below. Uh, or follow our channel, you'll find out more as we go. Right, now, the next thing I wanted to do, Adam said that he had troubles doing a takeoff, and the first thing I did when I opened the model was I did a takeoff. And mine worked fine, and it may just be, because we've done a few updates of late, and we're trying to improve uh, the functionality of Plusbeck, 
Uh, you might find that you need to go back to an older version if you want to take up an older model, but nine out of 10 times that won't happen. This is the latest version, or it's actually a beta version. Um, and just so you know how to update, when you first open up SketchUp, you'll notice that you have this tool, this um, dialog come up, and it says your software version is up to date. Right? If it's not and it's gray, click on it, download the latest version, and for you, Adam, that will solve your problem, I believe. Um, so there's that. And Material Library, if that's not up to date, you also need to update that as well, guys, because adding new functionality, more productivity from new materials, you'll get it. So I'm going to go close. That was this button here. Okay, um, takeoff by level. All right, so I'm going to read his question. It would be not great to be able to do a takeoff of the entire model, then break it into tags to view as a group from the menu to cross-reference. Now, when you do a takeoff or a bill of quantities, um, you will come up with this. And inside of here, you'll notice you have few sections, sections by cost code, and you have sections by tag layer. If I go generate report, you'll now notice that everything's been broken down into the name of the tag layer. So everything that's 12 engineering is actually, if I went over and search 12 engineering, that's everything there. So if I wanted to just know what was inside of there, I could just isolate this tag. right? And to do that, just quickly, uh, what I would do is I would say, if I turn it off, it's going to tell, turn 12 engineering off, and I don't know if I'm going to see that in this model. No. But if I went through and knowing the beams, posts, and columns is the tag that I, that I do want to look at, what I would do is I would get rid of the 12, and I would turn everything off except for beams, columns, and tags. Therefore, I can subdivide the model into whatever it is. Let's go down to here. You'll also notice all these. These aren't from created by Pluspec. This would, I would assume, be the DWG that is imported and what the architect or designer has called those things there. I would put these in a tag folder myself because it'll make it easier to separate the model. Plus, and I'm going to call it designer, or whatever it is you want to call it. Therefore, they're all now in a tag folder, and I can just make less or, or more less information for me to go through. You can see that's tidy that up straight away. Right, and therefore, if I turned off everything else that wasn't there, uh, I could just do a quantities on whatever it is that I've shown there, and therefore, you can see I've got beams, posts, and columns. When I do a takeoff now, just one thing to know, I'll close this. Bring this up, visible geometry only. And therefore, my takeoff will show you just what's visible. I could have also just went select and selected what I wanted to do and go right click, take off, selection only. Right? And therefore, it's only given me what I wanted to uh, take off or what I'm viewing. Hope that answers your question, Adam. Um, and by all means, uh, if you've got any more questions, uh, stick them on the forum, mate, or, or ask them below, and we'll do our best to answer them. Uh, and he goes on to say, I know you can do this by selecting the item, which I just showed then, view model individual. Okay, so I, I think that the answer to your question, the best one would be that choosing selection by tag layer. I also really like cost code. Uh, now, in this version that I'm using now, um, I actually have just used standard cost codes, but now it's changed the way that it's ordered anything, and anything that doesn't have a cost code associated with it, I can now do this. This is a really good way when you're using, if you're using zero and you've synced up your uh, takeoff with zero, you would import all of your subcontractors and all of their cost codes, and then you can actually do your book work while drawing a model, you know, and I think that's a, a, a an extra benefit that you could do. Now, another thing a lot of people miss is that I'm inside of here and I've turned off all these tags. I don't want to have to manually go through and turn them all back on. If I go to see all, it turned everything straight back on for me. And if I went to 2D mode, it'll look at it in 2D mode. Guys, these are plus design, build plus architect features only, but I think they really will save you a heap of time um, navigating a model. Um, so give them a try. Um, so we spoke about takeoff by level, takeoff by layer or tag, which we spoke about and remodeled existing. Now, I did notice in this model, and I'll just turn this around here, 
<clears throat> that we have two walls and it was highlighted by clashing faces. Clashing faces is when two things are exactly in the same position. It doesn't know which one to show, therefore it'll flicker like you can see. Now, I wanted to know why this was the case. So if I selected the wall and I pushed hide, I can see that there's two walls in one location. Control Z will bring it back. If I hit this wall, now, the reason why I think this has happened is because probably Adam wasn't aware of the functionality that we probably haven't made as much of a song and dance about as we should have, and that's inside of the wall tool. I'm just going to quickly go and open the wall tool, and you'll notice we mentioned this briefly in the last video. Um, when we have a wall, and I'll make it a masonry veneer wall, <clears throat> we have the ability to mark it as existing. Now, if it's an existing wall, it just means it won't quantify. So if I draw that wall over here, right-click and take off, selection only, that wall won't quantify. It's already on site. We don't have to do anything with it. However, when you're doing renovations and extensions, it's not unusual to have to either demolish, demolish an entire wall or actually remodel an existing wall. So if I click remodel an existing wall and go submit and I draw this wall, <clears throat> It's basically still a locked wall, so when I make it red, it's locked. But I'll just go back and open up that wall tool there. And because it was selected as remodel or renovate, if I went to my materials, it's saying, do you want to replace or demolish the material, in this case, brick? Now, I'm going to replace the brick with a different type of brick, just to give you an example. Let's just say we use barrel blue. <clears throat> and, go, uh, and then you scroll down and see if anything else is... Replace. So if I want to also replace the internal lining, gibrock or drywall, whatever you may call it, and I want to put on, I don't know, another product, and I want to quantify that but not the rest of the wall, then that's what I would do. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to choose plasterboard and go submit. Right. And you'll notice it changes the brick, but the frame is still existing, yet the plasterboard would be right. And if I went right-click, take off selection only, the only thing that it's done is replace the brickwork and replace the internal lining. And that's really helpful. It saves you from having to, I'm just going to control Z and undo all that. I don't really want to draw over Adam's model. <clears throat> but what that's done down here is it has basically saved you from drawing two walls in the same location. That can be used in roofs, floors, a whole heap of different things, guys. It is a helpful functionality for people that are doing renovation, extension, remodel work. Uh, or anything like that. Right, um, so I think we've gone through remodel existing, takeoff, uh, and so on. Let me think about what else. There's something else I wanted to talk about. I'll just pause. Can't think of it. Must have been bullshit. Um, one other thing, guys, is that VO Building doesn't actually do design. They actually draw the model so that they can show their client, but also understand what's behind the scenes, right? So how things are going to be built, what's new, what's not new, and so on. And I, I guess it's a testament to the software, but it's also a disadvantage for anyone who's not using 3D to understand issues that you will come up in a model. And I personally, in my own construction company, would always draw a model whether I had a set of plans from an architect or not. If you can find a builder that's utilizing technology to actually build your home virtually, I would feel comfortable that what I'm going to receive is what I've been shown and I can see that there's a real benefit uh, for a lot of builders doing that. Uh, Adam actually said he, he doesn't use the, the estimating functionality as much as, as he does the modeling functionality and um, you know what, hopefully this video helps helps you out Adam to, to, to get more out of Plus Design Build as you go. Alright guys, thanks for your time. Uh, if you like the video, push like. If you dislike the video, push dislike. Make sure you tell us why so we can improve next time. And uh, we really look forward to um, seeing you guys being part of what we're doing. Cheers.